get a do if you tell them you're pregnant. Damn. <laughs> is it that easy? It's kind of that easy. Yeah. You know, I got friends. I got a lot of trap dads friends. The trap still works. I don't even. I don't think young girls do the trap, but they still could. Only thing is, the trap works on my friends. My friends are old, mm. so because they're from that generation with yeah, the trap yeah. Work. So when you old and you get a woman pregnant, if you don't like her, you still gotta like try to figure some shit out. Like, oh, I want to be here. So I don't know how young dudes are doing it, and mm. and they about to make abortion illegal. So I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck these young people about to be doing with all these babies, but. It's none of my concern. Mm, this was an interesting first date conversation. <laughs> I would, I would say that. I don't know. You know what? You know, the thing is, if you're smart, you don't. A, a guy should never talk this much on a first date. Really? You, you have to try your best, unless you're interesting. But try your best to let the woman talk most, and she and answer her questions and tell your lies and make sure your lies are good and they pause. And a good lie is intermixed with like a good true story. Mm-hmm. So you like do a little pause and then you tell like a little story. That's the actual real story. Mm-hmm. So then you have your real face and then she'll think like all, all of this is like a real thing. Mm. Um, what, women, what women should ask guys on first date, y'all should just say like early too. Like one of the first things you say to him after you sit down, she'll be like, have you ever cheated on one of your girlfriends? Mm. Come out the gate. Just come out the gate. Like I think just... Getting us off guard and uncomfortable is the best way. Mm. Like, don't let, even let us get comfortable in our bullshit. Don't even wait for us to figure out our bullshit. Just hit us with all the good shit. Like, nigga, you be cheating. And then watch a nigga lie about cheating. Uh, so, like, that's all that. That's, a, that's hard to answer that question. Right. So, you know, you watch them just stumble and shit. Mm. Watch them stumble. Or ask them, uh, act, and if he says no, but he don't cheat. If he tells you that lie, and you go, do your friends? Are your friends cheating? Like, mm. I, do you go? You got to see how much friends lie he want to tell you. Like, you're like, like, like how much is this nigga going <laughs> to lie to me? Like, is this nigga going to lie I'm about so, You don't cheat, but your friends do? So why are you friends with people yeah. cheating? So, yeah. Or he go lie and say, nah, my friends, every, we just stand up dudes, all so, of us. Oh, none of y'all cheat? Never? We would never do a thing like that. Mm. This is why you meet me for the first time when I'm 35, but I'm single. <laughs> Oh, hmm. I would never. And I would. I wouldn't abide that shit. So, what's the longest relationship one of your friends had? What's the longest relationship you had? And he ain't gonna know. You can ask him. What's the longest relationship <laughs> like, you had? Uh, who knows? I, I, they're, they're, I mean. And that about wraps it up for that conversation. Uh, Roblomatic and I kind of continued the chat from dating to cheating, and then like his grandmother getting her back blown out, but. I didn't want to add all of that for that conversation. You know, you gotta, you gotta tease the folks, you know, you gotta put a little out there and then keep them, you know, hooked so they can come, keep coming back for more. So you will definitely hear more convos between Roblomatic and I, as I continue to cut them, edit them and have them published on the adultish podcast but until then be sure to hit me up on the instagrams at alja0214 with all your feels about those dating tips and tricks or you can hit me up on twitter at la jolie poeta that's l-a-j-o-l-i-e-p-o-t-e-a if you want to get into your feels about the internal conflict between the black diaspora Um, other than that be sure to hit us up on instagram or twitter at the adultish handle which is adultish p0 D C A S T. And if you want to do a deep dive, have a deep convo, or share your thoughts and ideas or opinions on us, uh, on us or about us or about our content, be sure to do it via email at adultish at digidisnet.com. That's adultish at D I G I D I S N E T dot com. Would love to thank my uh, co host for the evening, Mr. Rob Lomatic, for our pre recorded conversation. And um, we hope to have some new content with myself and Mr. Vincent Bernard on the passing of Toni Morrison soon. Uh, But until then, stay black, stay classy, um, own your body positivity, and have great questions for your first date because you want to get these niggas shooketh. Until then, I love you all. Bye. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.